Austin, will you be home? Uh, I'll be home as soon as I possibly can. I got some things I gotta clean up here. I gotta look for offices, you know. I miss you. I miss you too. And when I get back, the first thing we're gonna do is have the biggest wedding Dallas has ever seen. I love you, Cliff, you know that. I love you. I can't wait to see you. And I'll call you tomorrow. Good night. Now aren't you glad you called? I told you they'd confirm it. And that just fills your little heart with joy, doesn't it? Well, it will as soon as you sign this sales agreement. And this fat little check here is going to provide you and Cliff with one hell of a honey. Why was it so important for you to get my company? It's not very big. It doesn't do anything important. Well, you have some hardware that's real important to me. All of our equipment is on lease. You can't use any of it. Well, actually, it's who's leasing it that's important. You see, there's a company in Venezuela called De La Vega Oil, and they are the ones that are leasing those drilling platforms. So? So, when I cancel those leases and yank those rigs, one Mrs. De La Vega is going to be sitting on a pool of oil, and she won't be able to get at it. So you used me and Cliff just to get some stupid revenge on the woman who bought your company? <laughs> revenge is never stupid, darling. It's the single most satisfying feeling in the world. Now, if I were you, I wouldn't tell Cliff that you sold your company to me. Might not make him too happy. He's still head of the ORC. There's no way he won't find out. Yeah, I guess I did kill two birds with one stone, didn't I? But as dumb as Cliff is, I'm sure you'll be able to convince him that it was all for the best. Pretty good evening, huh? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I tell you, I think everybody knows because I've only been to that restaurant twice, and we got the best table in the house. What are the benefits of being the energy czar? How about a brandy? Yeah, why not? I wish old Ewing could have been there to see that. No, I don't. The hell with him. <laughs> He's going to love it that I resigned from the ORC. Oh, I'm sure. Uh, one thing I've been thinking about. Simply because I cannot have a conflict of interest. You're going to have to move on selling your brother's company. Well, in that case, I have some good news. I've already sold it. You did? Wow, you're a busy girl when I was gone. Did you get a good price? Oh, pretty good. Who'd you sell it to? J.R. Ewing. No, you didn't. What difference does it make who I sold it to? Because you know how I feel about him. Now he's out there spreading it around that you had to sell the company and he bought it. Just so he could stick it to me again. <laughs> he paid a lot of money just to one-up you. I guarantee you he'd think it was worth it. How could you sell it to him? Are you just stupid? I just did it, all right? Now, can we drop it? No, we can't drop it. Why did you sell it to him? Why, I could have found you a buyer for that. Why did you sell it to him? I did it for you. You did it for me. That's so much crap. J.R. got to Garrity. And the only way you were going to get your appointment was if I sold him my company. I can't believe that. Well, it's true. I earned that job. I was the best man for that job. That's right, you were. No. JR was the best man. The one thing that I thought I had earned all by myself, and you had to get it for me. And you had to give in to JR to do it, and he knows it. And he knows it! So what? Is that all you really care about? You and JR playing your stupid games? Well, I am not gonna be caught in the middle anymore. You know, I thought we really had something special, but I was wrong. You are just as mean and as small as he is, and you're sure as hell not the sort of man I want to spend my life with. Why'd you put that back in the Cracker Jack box where you found it? Why don't you just stay out of my life? 